Let's give this to Brad. Hey, Brad. Yes. What have you got there? I've got this for you. Oh, that's a 45 long Colt. That's a little more than that. No, it's not. Well, oh, oh yeah. Hey, look at this. It's called a bullet knife. All right. Steve McQueen would be proud of this. The bullet. And... Just curious if you could sharpen it. It's a 44 Magnum, actually. Uh, which, here's a little interesting fact. Clint Eastwood in uh, Dirty Harry said he was packing the most powerful handgun on earth, which would have been at that time a 44 Magnum. He was actually carrying a 41 Magnum. Okay, it was not a 44 Magnum. Um, and I think you can look it up. There's probably some facts on that, but I'm pretty sure you would find out. Yeah, that's, oh my gosh, yeah. Um, you would find out that uh, it was a 41 Magnum, not a 44 Magnum. So anyway, that's a, that's actually a cute little, um, that's uh, pretty sturdy. Uh, it's made like a bullet, and uh, it's got a little bit of an edge on it. It isn't much, but and if I can you know, push on it like that. But will it sharpen? Yes, I believe I can sharpen that because it does have some edge. That'd make a good, uh, I can make you let loose of me if I <laughs> start jabbing. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, you know, if you get that open and start poking, um, it's got a really sharp point on it. So it doesn't have to cut very much. It'll, it'll, uh, it'll poke you pretty good. Sharpen spark. Got the cross V up here that I use to make knives out of non-knife material. Uh, I've, I've done it with credit cards. I've done it with the back of saws. I've used uh, hacksaw blades. Um, I've, I've used a lot of things to make a knife, uh, make at least something that'll cut the apples and everything. And then we have the straight uh, <clears throat> inline uh, carbide here. We've got those sharp corners sticking out there. They're just 90 degree corners. This is called a sharpened spark. And part of the reason it's called a sharp and spark is because it's got one of those in the handle. So not very many sharpeners on earth. You can just unscrew a little bit of it and uh, use one end of it on the other end to make sparks. So let's get to work. Uh, let's um, Let's see if we can cut. Okay, I can, I can kind of, this isn't too bad, but you got to kind of saw on it. Let's see if I can make it better than that. Get out of here. I'm going to feed those to the birds. All right. And I might use the cross V on it here in just a minute. I'll run this just a little bit. It really is pretty easy to work on stuff if you can get it on something like that. And don't press too hard, move along kind of quick. Some of the things I was trying to rip the metal off as hard as I could, so I pushed harder on them. Now let's turn it over this way. It's, it's a really thick blade, so I'm not real sure just how easy it'll slice. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can, I'm gonna tip it down and see if I can pin it out just a little bit. Let's turn it over and see if I can accomplish a little bit this way. I can see some metal coming off. Right. It's starting to feel here like I need to be in Arizona. Now, I was just down in Arizona a couple of weeks ago and it was 106 degrees. Uh, it actually felt pretty good, but it was a little bit on the warm side. It also was about 106 degrees in Las Vegas 10 days ago when I was there, and it really did feel good. All right, let's see. All right, let's polish it a little bit and see if it'll slice better or maybe even some paper, just like that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Actually, it's cutting pretty good. Spread. Will it sharpen? Little bullet knife like that. Kind of a thick blade. All right. It's kind of a cute little key ring job. It is a probably a pretty good little self-defense deal. Open some envelopes, stuff like that. 
work on it a little more. Drop it way down like this and work on it even more so that it actually thins that blade out a little bit and makes it sharper. Thinner means sharper, it doesn't mean tougher. Thicker means tougher, okay? So you wanna drop it down instead of about like this, you wanna drop it down to about that and work on it even more. So this is Brad, sharpen this little bullet knife like that, okay? And that's a cute little guy. It's called a 44 Magnum. To be honest with you, I almost doubt just a little bit that that's the size of a 44 Magnum. We're going to have to get a 44 Magnum and compare them and see if I'm right or wrong. This is Brad, SharpensBest.com, Will It Sharpen series. Take care.